Just then, the San Diego City Council has voted on whether there will be year-round closure of a stretch of beach in La Jolla. Yeah, that proposal was made to protect the sea lions from people who visit that area. And our Jamie Chambers is live in La Jolla with what was decided. Jamie. Maria, it was unanimous. They are shutting down Point La Jolla and Boomers Beach to the public for the uh, foreseeable future as the city council moves to keep sea lions and seals separated from folks visiting La Jolla. The distance between sea lions and the people of La Jolla is going to grow as the city council takes up a new ordinance that will close Point La Jolla and Boomers Beach to folks until further notice. People will be uh, prevented from actually going on to the rocks at Point La Jolla. And for Boomers Beach, if your purpose is to actually get into the water for swimming, for paddle boarding, uh, for any or underwater uh, recreation, you're still going to be allowed to get into the water. So Boomers will have access to the water, but no hanging around just in and out. Sea line activists are relieved with the latest plans. The California Coastal Commission has already approved the coastal development permit, closing this area year round and keeping people safely along this wall. But tourists say the La Jolla experience is seeing a big change. I was wanting to be able to go down there so she can experience that. Fights between differing opinions on the sea lines have erupted into physical violence between people on the beach. Get out of here! But the big question remains. Will the cove eventually get shut down as well? That's where we're drawing the line. The La Jolla Cove Beach is such a critical part of the recreational for folks who live in the area, for visitors to the area. It's what part of what makes us world famous about we're going to keep La Jolla Cove Beach open. And city council members really tried to make sure that they had the power to keep the La Jolla Cove open. There's about 150 to 250 seals and sea lions that live in the area. And if that population continues to grow, the question is, will they have those human animal interactions and will those become a new problem that they'll have to deal with in the future? Everybody watching that very closely. That's the very latest from La Jolla, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.